Hey guys, Game Zach here and welcome to my top 10 PC exploration and survival games to watch in 2015. Now, survival games are all about staying alive in hostile environments, be it physical or psychological. You could be up against your environment, disease, monsters or even yourself. Time to see if you can stay vigilant enough to last in these expansive titles. First up we've got Fortnite by Epic Games, a multiplayer construction survival where you and your friends reclaim and rebuild a homeland, build extravagant forts, insane weapons and traps to protect your towns from strange monsters. Think orcs must die but on a whole new level. Let's hope the game will be able to get both the construction and combat aspects all worked out. Next we have Before by Bill Lowe and Face Punch Studios. Guide your prehistoric tribe through the challenges of a harsh and unforgiving landscape, shaping their culture and defining their history. Your tribe must hunt and forage each day and protect themselves from wild animals and the elements. Hierarchies and power structures take root and belief forms will emerge. Oh, and Before is now working with Face Punch Studios, so it's getting legit. We're starting to get some video as promised, so keep an eye on the Before Game YouTube channel channel and dev blog to stay updated. And then we have Shelter 2 by Might and Delight. Here's the sequel to the Badger Survival Game. This time you follow the life cycle of a mother lynx, prepare your den, nurture your cubs and hunt to survive the wilderness. With genuine feeling of loss and sense of being a parent protecting its children, this one might just pull a heartstring or two. The game promises more elaborate gameplay than its predecessor, so go check out this delightful nature survival game. Next up we have Proven Lands by These Tales, a sci-fi survival game where you explore a vast and unique procedurally generated world with an AI storyteller. You're alone on this alien planet and you need to survive and advance your abilities. Some say this roguelike sandbox is like a 3D sci-fi don't starve, but that's way too simplistic of a description. Then we have Frontiers by AAD Productions. This game was looking really rough the last time we checked it out, but it's starting to look really good. Frontiers blends the feel of a first-person RPG and a point-and-click adventure, but you have to live off the land and survive the deadly wilds. There will be full mod support and co-op multiplayer. Gameplay footage is available on the AAD YouTube channel, so go watch some of this fantastical survival game. Next we have Dead Island 2 by Jaeger Development. Here comes another step in the Dead Island series where you have to kill lots of zombies and survive as you make your way through the game. It's set in America but looks a lot more arcadey than previous installments and not much plot has been seen yet, but the weapon combination system could be cool. If you've been a Dead Island fan you might enjoy this but be sure to know exactly what you're getting into before investing in this one. And then there's Dying Light by Techland. In other zombie news, here we have a new first-person survival horror set in an open world similar to South American slums and cities. During the day you scavenge resources and craft new weapons, but at night you need to survive the much more dangerous free-running zombies. There's a heavy focus on parkour and free-running mechanics, so expect to quickly traverse the urban landscape. Single player, four-person co-op and asymmetrical multiplayer where you can be the zombie are promised. The question is, can you run fast enough to survive once the sun goes down? Then we have Pathologic by Icepick Lodge. In this game, you spend 12 days in a town devoured by a plague. A plot-driven survival open-world game where you explore a town with weird traditions and choices will haunt your every step. Three playable characters, each giving one piece of the puzzle. Fight for your survival while you face an enemy you can't kill. You're not going to be able to save everyone, if you can even save yourself. Next up we have Soma by Frictional Games. From the creators of Amnesia, here's a sci-fi horror that takes place in an underwater research facility where the machinery begins to come to life. Many are saying HR Giger inspired, and the Chinese room are not involved, so it'll most likely feel a lot more like the aesthetic of the original Amnesia. Prepare to encounter strange creatures and do the unthinkable to survive and escape, and keep an eye on this one to see if it's gonna be the next big scary game. Finally we have The Stomping Land by Supercrit. 
Here you are a hunter and scavenger in a world with dinosaurs that will end you in an instant. However, you still need to hunt for food and survive as long as you can. After a long time of silence, the game is now starting to get regular updates. Be sure you know exactly what you're getting before investing in this one. Still in early access, the game has a ways to go in terms of implementing content and features, so you should keep a close eye on this one to see if it can become a fully fledged dinosaur survival or just end up being stomped into the ground. Now, most of these games should be releasing in 2015, but either way, you should keep an eye on developments to see if these games will survive the hostilities of a development cycle. Alright, that wraps up my top 10 PC exploration and survival games to watch in 2015. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, drop me a like or share it with your friends. The support is always appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.